Hey guys, it's Greg, back from my trip from California. Uh, I was traveling with another couple who don't drink craft beer, so uh, wasn't able to visit as many of the breweries as I would hope to or would, would have liked to. Uh, I did get to go uh, when I got to Bakersfield and met up with uh, Leandro and his beautiful wife and a friend of his, Jacob, uh, that uh, that has a, uh, he's a beer orderer for one of the uh, beer stores out there and we spent the day with them and uh, went to Lengthwise Brewery and uh, uh, she drove us uh, from Lengthwise up to Kern River Brewing which is way up in the mountains uh, away from uh, Bakersfield. It was about an hour and a half trip or a little longer each way and uh, it was quite a, quite, a, uh, quite a drive up there but it was, uh, yeah, they had some really tasty beers there too. It didn't I <laughs> didn't do any reviews while I was up at Kern River, but I did do one at, uh, at Lengthwise, and I'm, we're going to post this one in here, but I just want to give you a quick heads up. While I was gone, I, I did a little video before I left, and I told you I wasn't going to be able to answer any of the emails or new subscribers or comments or anything. But they still kept coming in. When I got back, I had over 1,200, almost 1,300 email messages. Well, after I went through and got rid of all the spam, I still had 700 that were new subscribers that comments on the videos. Guys, I appreciate all those comments and new subscribers subscribing while I was gone, but I do not have time to go back and answer 700 email messages. I just don't have the time. I do appreciate it though, but I'm not going to be able to answer those email messages. Uh, we're going to start off fresh. Uh, uh, I'm going to post this uh, review that I did in Beckersville today, and then I did uh, a few of the beers uh, that I had left in the fridge before I, I went to California and I'm going to be posting those the rest of the week. That will give me a chance to get to the beer store and, uh, and, and get some new beers that I haven't reviewed yet for you guys. So uh, that's what I had to say. I just want to come on camera and, and tell you that and we're going to post the, the lengthwise. It's Aeolia and a uh, very tasty beer and we're going to go to that uh, right after this. But uh, I do appreciate all the new subscribers and the comments while I was gone. But I'm not going to be able to answer those 700 emails. I just don't have the time, guys. Which I did. I'm going back to work. Uh, when, uh, when you see this, so it'll be Tuesday. I'm going back to work on Tuesday. I'm back a week early. So glad to be home. Glad I went. Had a large time. I posted a video yesterday. A little slideshow of all the pictures my wife took while she was on the back of the motorcycle. Over 1,600. The uh, video is about an hour and 45, 46 minutes, so it's a long video, but we were gone five weeks, 36 days, so there was a lot of pictures taken, so if you have the time and uh, you want to check them out, go by and take a look at those uh, those pictures she took. Uh, we were everywhere, from Grand Canyon, Route 66, Sequoia Mountains, uh, Yosemite, Yellowstone, went up the California coast, we went everywhere, guys. Uh, it was it was a large trip. It was a trip of a lifetime. So glad glad I went. But after 8,720 miles, I'm glad to be home. All right, guys, we're going to lead up to the uh, the beer review for for lengthwise. Uh, uh, that was the only one that I did while I was on vacation. That's the way it goes when you're traveling with a group. Uh, sometimes you don't have the time to do things that you need to do or want to do anyway. So let's get on with that one, guys. Hey guys, it's Greg from Greg Beer Reviews. We're here in Bakersfield, California at Lengthwise Brewery. Let's go see what they got in the fridge today. We're here in Lengthwise Brewery. It's got a lot of motorcycles in here. Got them hanging from the ceiling. Very nice logo on the wall. A lot of grain sitting around. We got them hanging everywhere. A nice Harley 45 sitting at the door. But we're going to take the tour here after I have a brew or two. Alright guys, we're here at Lengthwise Brewery. Sipping on a Aelia. Very nice glass. I got a nose on this. I'm getting a lot of citrusy tangerine orange taste and smell on this beer. Uh, very tasty beer. Uh, I think they've used Columbus. Columbus, Citra, and Mosaic. Citra and Mosaic hops in this beer. 
very tasty. Is this bottled or anything yet? Yes. So this is available on bottles, guys. So wish it was available where I come from. We're gonna sip on this and uh, see what we end up with. It looks like it's gonna get a pretty good score here, guys. All right, guys, we're down to the final chug here. This is a very delicious beer. Nice citrusy tangerine oranges for a 9% beer. The alcohol is super well hidden. Let's do the final chug. Definitely a beer worth picking up if you're in the Bakersfield area. Come by the brewery, check it out. Uh, me personally, I'm stuck between a 9 and a 10, so we're going to give it a 9 and a half. Very tasty beer. Awesome beer, as a matter of fact. Guys, if you're in the Bakersfield area, stop by Link Wise Brewery, pick up a beer. This one is called Aelia. Aelia. Just like it says on the back of the glass. Cheers from Bakersfield, California. All right, guys. The, uh, I didn't have the uh, availability or, or the uh, the ability to uh, look up the rate beer ratings and the uh, and the uh, beer advocate ratings while I was there in the brewery. It was kind of a spur of the moment thing there. Uh, so uh, I just wanted. Uh, come back after the video, y'all just watched and give you a little more information. Uh, Aelia, it is a 9 percenter, like I told you in the videos, American Double Imperial IPA. Uh, like I said, if you're in Bakersfield area, these guys make some very, very tasty beers. Uh, food pranks for that beer, I'm going to give you two at the end, where I normally give you two at the beginning. Cuisine is barbecue, cheese is a peppery, moderated pepper jacket, your typical IPA. Uh, sharp blue cheddar, pungent cheeses, gorgonzola, Limburger. They had a gorgonzola burger there that was, that I had while I was there. That was awesome. It was delicious. Uh, the meat for this is game grilled meat and salmon. And I'll tell you, grilled meat, burgers, steaks, chops, chicken, about everything that uh, if you're an IPA drinker, uh, comes off the grill that you'll enjoy with a nice, tasty IPA. And as you've seen, I had their pint glass that had L Y on the back of it. They spelled it a little different. They had A L instead of A L E. So I don't know what was up with that. So, and uh, the, the beer uh, being an IPA, I wouldn't want to try to sell that. You need to drink that as fresh as possible. And that one was right out of the tap, and it was damn tasty, guys. So I told you at the beginning of the video, I did a few before I left, and we're going to be posting those uh, the rest of the week until they're gone, until I get a chance to get to the beer store and get some. So, uh, hope you enjoy the ones. Uh, I think Mike sent me a couple of them. I yeah, hope you enjoy those. Until I get a chance to get to the beer store. Until then, let's go see what's in the fridge. See you then.